Okay, so, you know, first it was going to be a 3,000 mile journey, then it became 5,000. I think we're looking at about 8,000 mile journey. Um, man, man, preparing for this thing has just been insane. <laughs> Boy, if you want to make sure you're prepped and ready for uh, Armageddon, you know, make sure you uh, go on an 8,000 mile journey. So um, I'm just continuing through everything. You know, you got the GoPro videos now. You got the Samsung Galaxy S21. You got the Toyota Prius Prime videos. So what's the latest things I've run into? I just got the bill in the mail that uh, I got to run over to the uh, tax collector's office and pay my wife's um, registration on her gas guzzling uh, Toyota SUV getting 22 miles to the gallon. I uh, have no idea what she's spending on gas. Uh, um, I, it gets charged to the joint account. I guess I could add it up for a month. Um, you know, I'm getting, what, you know, 133 miles to the gallon around town and uh, 75 miles on the road. Woohoo! Uh, so um, what happened was I was loading the backpack and equipment into the car, okay, the Prius Prime, because it's hatchback. Uh, which is nice. That's convenient. I, I like it better than having the trunk on the old Sonata. And uh, I scratched the bumper. So I'm looking at, you know, when I'm going to be taking stuff in and out of the car, you know, I'm going to tear up that, that bumper, man. I mean, that's a big gripe I got about the Toyota Prius Prime now is, is the top of the bumper is actually painted. You know, if you look at like an SUV, usually that's like a plastic surface that, that you can just abuse, right? So now I'm thinking that I should go back to um, Ocala Audio and, uh, and, and put that 3M film over top of the bumper. Otherwise, you know, on this, this 8,000 mile journey now, I'm going to just scratch the living crap out of it. So you're saying, oh, Kirk, you're stalling, you're stalling. No, man, I'm just, I'm just trying to weapon up as best I can for the journey. Um, but, you know, let's, let's talk about a couple things. Uh, you know, one thing I don't think you you've, I've ever mentioned in the videos is, uh, you know, who, who is my mic? This is the Power DeWise um, mic. And, you know, I, I got the cord attached. I know it's inconvenient, and you can get them Bluetooth mics, but uh, they cost a hundred bucks, man. I mean, you know, I don't I think I spent like 20 bucks on this mic, and, uh, you know, for me, it's, it's perfect, you know. The other thing I didn't show you was uh, this um, GoPro uh, came with this really nice case. And uh, so what am I keeping down in here? I'm keeping all the accessories. So this, is, this would be for the phone if I was going to use the, the selfie stick with the phone. And uh, I, this is for, uh, well, it's another, another mount for the phone. Um, I, well, I was trying to find, yeah, here's, here's the one. And this is the thing I, what is most useless is this is just a sticky pad, and you can mount this on top of like a motorcycle helmet. But uh, it's a one-time thing. I mean, once you mount this, you're screwed. So if I want to wear, I have a second motorcycle helmet because I have a half helmet and I have a full helmet. Um, depending on, you know, how aggressive I'm going to be on the motorcycle. So, you know, it, it's, it's not removable. And uh, what are you going to do? Buy a bunch more of these? I guess you could. I, I'm not made of money, man. I just can't keep spending the money. So I just thought I'd get back to the gear just a little bit um, uh, for the trip. Because um, uh, I couldn't get out today. It rained again. And uh, raining tomorrow. And, uh, and, you, and I... Could I have made this uh, video with the GoPro? I, yeah, I could. I could have. Um, I want it to be an action video, man. You know, and, and I thought, you know, uh, I, oh, okay, thoughts go through your mind. I was going to do the, 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 the big hike down into Marshall Swamp and just get crazy. Uh, it's just so wet. I mean, I, it would just be mud puddle after mud puddle. It'd just be disgusting. I, no, we'll, we'll just go to the park and uh, we'll just make an easy... Uh, video but I just thought I'd kind of show you a couple things uh, you know these are um, <clears throat> these are the booties that I was talking about okay um, I, I don't even remember when I bought these they're neoprene and uh, you want to put some uh, protectant on these and it's not armor all what is it that I use uh, the 3m or I can't remember uh, 360 it's the 360 protectant and you got to spray it on this neoprene just to preserve it. And look how good a shape they're in. And these are going to be great for me getting out in the streams and uh, 
hiking around with all the, the cans and loose debris. I just kind of wanted to go over the some of the some of the gear. I mean, this is just a kinetic jacket for cold weather because you know what? I'm I'm getting up on October. Oh, <laughs> I never in a million years thought it would take me what three four months to to get on the trip. But I mean, it's just one damn thing after the. I've already trimmed the bushes. So what did I do? So now it's been so wet I can't because I've got rock all around my house and that, and that was a big big mistake that I made when I moved to Florida is you got to blow all that debris out of the rock and uh and 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 then it you know anyway don't get me started all right so you know got that and this is just kind of a merino wool shirt and I'm going to have all of this clothing along just kind of wanted to show you this is a recent purchase uh you can I bought these bags at uh, Amazon and boy I tell you they are convenient for putting stuff in um you know, uh, it's so, but I just kind of wanted to go over the food that uh, we're going to be taking. Um, you know, you got four Patriots. Uh, I don't get any money for these. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not promoting them. I have never eaten their food, so I don't know anything about it. But uh, they do have survival kits uh, where you can get a month's worth, two months, six months. And that stuff, um, you know, if you buy MREs, uh, I'll just give you an example. I, I, I brought back a lot of MREs when I was in the Marine Corps. And it turns out they expire after about five years. and uh, But I kept them down in my basin on temperature controlled. And I would eat them 10 years after the fact. But when you get old, <laughs> you know, you're looking at it and you're going, this MRE is 20 years old, man. I... <laughs> so, yeah, when I moved down to Florida, I had to throw away all the MREs. And uh, so, you know, what, what do I buy now? Um, so you got to get your... your expiring stuff for the trip you know sunflower seeds uh and and you, and, you know these are my duke's uh, original recipe smoked shorty sausages so we're gonna have those along uh i uh, got three of those um but this is kind of what i wanted to show you okay this is the mountain house uh and a lot of this mountain house stuff is now lasting like 20 25 years and the thing I like about it is all you do is boil your water, okay, when you're out in the forest, and you just add water, and you got, I mean, this is a hearty meal. This is, uh, well, freezer, lasagna with meat sauce, you know. And I tell you, these are taste really good. Look how uh, pressure-packed that is. And uh, I always write the expiration date on the outside of it so that I use the old ones first. Um, so, but I, I'm just kind of trying to show you, you know, what you're going to take along. I mean, we've got, um, so this is almond, walnuts, and raisins. <laughs> Have I been stupid? Oh, yeah. I'm stupid all the time. You know, stupid's my middle name. But uh, so one time I got these with chocolate, and you get out, <laughs> the temperature gets up in the 90s, and you reach down in here, and you're just grabbing a, a handful of uh, trail mix, and uh, man, I tell you, your hand looks like chocolate. And so, what are you gonna do? You know, you're out in the forest. Are you gonna, you know, go wash your hands at the, at the place? You know, so so make sure you don't get the one with chocolate in it. And I've been that stupid before. So you know, it's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. Um, you know, I, I do. I mean, I know they're not good for me. Uh, I like the Slim Jims, man. I like the Slim Jims. Uh, you know, I take a, I've got a bag of those coming along. You know, like, like I've told you, I always have spare batteries. These are rechargeable, so I can recharge. Now that I've got the Toyota Prius Prime with that battery that goes 25 miles, um, and I can charge it up with the gasoline engine if I have to. I'm sure I'll be just plugging it in along the way. And, uh, but I can recharge these batteries. Um, so, you know, if you've got the proper equipment. And uh, this is another thing. I love these um, pure protein bars. Uh, problem is they melt <laughs> when they get hot. But you know what? You can still eat them. It's not that big a deal. You know, you, you peel it back. Just, just make sure that you're going to be able to wipe your hands off or wash them, you know, and try to use the paper as much as possible. Um, so, and uh, then I got a, uh, you know, beef jerky down in there. So anyway, that's just a, just a quick video talking about the trip. Uh, um, so this is where we stand. I mean, so now it looks like I got to go to the Secretary of State. Now, uh, the other thing I've told you is the power washer. My wife set it on fire. I got to take that to Best Buy. Um, so I've got the GoPro ready to go in the car. Maybe we'll get out and, and get a video, but it's raining every day. 
I got to I got to make a video before I go on the trip because I don't even know if the damn thing's going to work. You know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, and I don't know. I, does it have audio? I mean, I, I guess I'll just be talking to the camera and see what happens. I'm, I'm used to this phone, um, but I can't, you know, can't vouch for that. Uh, and then the other thing, and uh, boy, my wife went ballistic tonight. Holy moly, I tell you, these Democrats are something else. I told her this house is my fortress of solitude. And uh, so when I come back from an 8,000 mile journey, I want everything working, okay? So, oh, you know what? Uh, you know, I was going to, well, I, I, I'll just tell you about it. Um, if you go up to Amazon, uh, I'm going old school. You know, I could fix that ice maker. Probably cost me 800 bucks on the, on the refrigerator. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I, if you go to Amazon, I found uh, these, uh, they're uh, ice trays and they have a cover on them. Because one of the problems I had getting the ice trays down into the freezer, because it's a lower uh, door freezer. I got a French door refrigerator. And uh, the, the water would just spill all over the damn freezer, you know. And, and so... What I bought was these covered ice trays, and you got to get the good ones. I mean, spend the 30, I spent 30 bucks. It was 30 bucks for two ice trays. Now, I know that sounds stupid, um, but uh, the thing I like, I mean, you, well, you could freeze food in it. You can do, but it's got a metal rim all the way around it. You can look for it on Amazon, and, uh, um, and, uh, and then what you do um, to get the ice cubes out, you just set it on the counter, let it melt for about three to three to five minutes or so and then and then they just because it's silicon man you just they just pop right out so i'm going old school man i ain't gonna i ain't gonna fix that damn ice maker i'm not i'm this chinese junk that we buy i mean a whirlpool refrigerator i call them out i call them out i mean you know so i'm just not gonna worry about it and uh if my wife wants to fix it she can call up she can do what she wants i mean you know um so whatever you know she's a democrat um, so there you go. Uh, that's kind of where we are. So you look at it. I, I got to get the. And so how am I going about uh, fixing the bidet? Um, because, you know, I have problems. Yeah, because we talk about that in a lot of videos and I don't want to get personal with it. But I but I do have a bidet in the bathroom and it's broken right now. So, uh, you know, what am I going to do? I thought, well, I will just order another one from Amazon, but I can't order the same brand that I just broke or just broke on its own so i thought well you know maybe i'll look at some other brands and and then i thought you know what you know sometimes you just got to admit people you don't know everything and you're not the sharpest tool in the shed so what i'm going to do is call the plumber uh we got a local plumbing company that i use uh hell i'll give them a shout out meeks plumbing so i'm, I'm going to give them a call and I'm going to ask them, I'm going to say, you know, number one, will you come and put in a new bidet? And number two, do you want me to buy it or will you just bring it with you? And, and, and number three, what, what do you recommend? You know, what, what have you discovered in your career as a plumber that's going to last and not break as easily as this piece of crap that I put in before? And so sometimes you got to spend the money. Sometimes you got to spend the money. And uh, I hate doing it. But I mean, I don't want to come back from a thousand or, you know, 8,000 mile trip and not have my bidet. I mean, I, I tell you what, it's a, a you know, and, and, you know, I, it saves so much toilet paper. It saves money uh, in the long run. Uh, now, did this one save money? Probably not because it broke. You know, I don't know. I've had it about two years, maybe three um, so it, 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 it did okay. Uh, but, uh, but it pisses me off, man. This Chinese junk just breaks in a hurry. That's it for this video. Uh, let's do the, do the mantra. Cause I live in a Republican state and, uh, I tell you what, going, traveling to some Democrat states is just, I mean, I can't even pack. They don't, they don't respect the constitution. They, they don't want you packing any weapons, uh, you know, I don't want to go to jail, so I'm like I said, I'm just going to be carrying bear spray, and uh, um, uh, so that's just the nature of the beast. I mean, unless you're going to be in Texas or Florida or a free state, um, you know, they 
they don't they don't want you weaponing up they don't want you defending yourself you know and uh, I mean and as I said in the previous video I mean all you got to do is take the example of Kyle Rittenhouse I mean he's been in jail for a year you got the January 6 people all they did was walk into the damn Capitol building and they're all still in jail so you know I'm, I'm just trying to stay out of jail I don't think they're gonna you know penalize me if I shoot somebody in the face with some bear spray who knows I mean they probably I mean in a Democrat state they're all crazy they're all crazy as far as I can tell. Um, you know, they, of course, you know, with my videos, they know I'm a conservative. They, you know, they, they may just want to come after me because I use bear spray to deter uh, uh, an aggressor in some fashion, you know. Who knows? So I don't, I don't know what to expect on this this 8,000-mile journey or whatever it's going to be. I'm just, I'm just showing you how I'm, I'm preparing. All right, that's it, man. You guys, uh, freedom! Oh, freedom! Freedom! Peace out.